Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this time we're going to be doing a bit of World of Warships and uh, this time we're out in the North Carolina Tier 8 American Battleship and we are going to be on the map Shatter so we'll get straight underway. We've spawned on the A side of the map so of course we want to contest that, we don't want to push straight in there we've got a Yugame Destroyer, we've got a Fletcher who looks to be going for B so we've got a few guys so we'll see how we get on with this one as always guys any help with the uh, or comments or you know things you like things you don't like let me know in the comments obviously if you're enjoying the videos please subscribe apologies it's been a while since the last one again as always real life and uh, work are getting in the way of uh, things that uh, I'm enjoying at the moment I've seen a few uh, youtubers now started playing World of War Planes version 2 uh, it looks interesting I'm not currently looking at playing that we're going to be looking to play a bit of company of heroes as soon as I can get a headset working properly so I can record and talk at the same time okay so we've got friendly Bismarck he's coming this way so I'm going to follow the Neptune and try and use the islands to our advantage on this side of the map our friendly guys on the opposite side they look to be heading for C we've got a Fletcher who's heading straight into B which is a brave move, it's got a bit of multiple choke points in there and uh, there isn't many places you can run and hide once you're in there. So obviously I'm hoping if somebody does get, the Fletcher does spot somebody I can fire into B and try and give him a little bit of cover and fire. So the enemy's already into A, as you can see. They've just started capturing our Yugamos stopped the capture. And we are detected. And there we go, we've got an enemy Yugamo on the far side of A. I'm going to take a couple of pot shots at him, see if we can't do a bit of damage to this guy. We've got good accuracy with the American battleships, in particular this ship. No, oh, we do. 4,000 damage. So that, I mean, that's going to hurt when you, you, your life is only sort of 17 or 18,000. And he's popping his smoke. I'll make a run for it and hide. And there he goes, he's disappeared. So we're no longer detected. Just going to clip the back of this Bismarck. That's nothing to worry about. And we're detected again by aircraft, so somebody's popped a, a plane, probably the Tirpitz or the Ibuki. He was just detected then, he's not anymore. So we'll get some fire on this Tirpitz. Nice overhead looping shot, see if we can't penetrate his deck. No, he's no look far off target. And oh, we've got torpedoes coming in from the Yugamo. We're going to have to turn and slow torpedoes down, try and avoid these. Torpedoes, dead ahead. And it looks like we're going to. Oh, it's a Benson who's fired. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. So, yeah. I think they were actually the Yugame torpedoes, 4 and a 4. I'm pretty sure the Benson has a 5 and a 5. I could be mistaken that. We've not actually managed to get up to the Benson's level yet. And there we go, look, 5 and a 5. So, and I've just turned now, so... I'm furiously uh, trying to re-correct our uh, direction, but we are going to take a couple of these. We'll play the flood in. That's done significant damage right in the middle. And this Bismarck, this turf is looks like it's slowing down, so we're going to have a few more shots at him. 6,000 damage at the end of the world. We're drawing a lot of enemy fire from this uh, spot. So I do want to get moving. I've gone back to full speed. And I'm asking the. Well, we want the Bismarck to use his hydro. To try and detect the Fletcher in the smoke. We're taking secondary fire from the turf pits and we're going to use this island now to try and give us a bit of cover, give us a bit of breathing room as well. We've got the Yugamo in front of us and the rooms firing from us. Firing us. I think the Missouri actually has just come up on the map now. I'm trying to turn away from them, they seem to be getting focused. I'm probably the only target they can see at the moment. 
get some fire on this tip and see if we can't run some damage on him. And there, 17, 18, 19,000 damage. We'll take that, that's going to hurt. He's got torpedoes chasing him. See if I can't uh, do some damage on him. He looked to be turning right round. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Eight, eight, nine thousand damage. That turpitz looks like he's going down. He's flooding or he's on fire. One of the two. His health slipping away slowly. So we've already took out two of the enemy destroyers. We've lost a cruiser. It's not the end of the world. This mark's coming in. I'm going to try and throw some shots over the island at him. It's a bit of a risky now because I'm turning. I'm giving a broadside to these guys now. I look like I've got away with it. As you can see, we've lost nearly half of our health already. So, not the greatest start, if I'm honest. But it was a good game. I did enjoy this one. But the accuracy of the North Carolina is really its strong point. I mean, look at the dispersion on them compared to the the German battleships, particularly the Bismarck. I know you'll have all watched a couple of videos on. I mean, 12,800 damage. I'll take that all day long per salvo. We're going to get another shot over this island before. We... Yeah, the island just come up in the way, that's a shame. So I'm just going to drop in behind this island, use this island to cover me from, what, four enemies over there and just utilise it to my advantage, really. I'm going to nose onto this Bismarck and use the two forward guns to just try and punish him. He's obviously pushing. We should get some easy damage on this guy now. 17, 18,000 damage, we'll take that. Another cracking salvo. No citadels, which is very difficult on the German battleships. You can see I'm just aiming sort of quite a bit above the waterline. But he's down. We've got the Missouri, who looks like he's pushing forward as well. He might, he's actually turning away. Now the enemy team are five, boat, five ships down now, we're against our three down. So it's starting to swing in our favour over in this corner. Obviously they still hold the capture point. So he's decided to turn around. So we should get another shot on him here. This is Ireland indicator goes off. I'd say not ideal, but this is going to come down on his deck, so. 9,000 damage. And he's on fire. Trying to repair it. And he's down. So a couple down in quick succession there. We've got the Ibuki who's coming up next. He's got a torpedo, so we've got to be mindful of that. And this is the point where I took my eye off where the North Carolina was to be honest with you. And to be honest, he could have punished me. 1,800 damage, not the greatest. He's realised he's broadside on. And there we go, 9,000, 11, well, 10,000 just over damage. So we're racking our damage up now, nearly 100,000. This old book is going to go the same way as uh, his friends have just now. And he's down. And there's a the torpedo, so... And there's that North Carolina. Now he could have really punished me there because for a while I was broadside onto him. And I'll be honest, I wasn't paying as much attention to him as I probably should have been. But I'm paying attention to him now. And my team are furiously telling me I need to go and cap, but I'm not going to go and cap when there's a Fletcher sitting right outside the cap point. And we're not in trouble in terms of points. Obviously, the enemy have got A and C. But our Fletcher is now going into A, so I'm not really worried about uh, capping that. My interest is 
to take this North Carolina down and clear this flank of enemies. It looks like he's going to round this island and come out right in front of us, and he has. The dispersion looks good. Could have been better. 5,000 damage. Takes us over the 100,000 damage, which is always nice. 48 shots on target. We're still waiting for that Citadel though. It's still been uh, evading us so far in this game. And he's firing back, but I think, the, to be honest, the front of my ship now, for the amount of damage I've taken on it, it's quite saturated. Another salvo. This looks good. All oh, massive Citadel. 25,000 damage. And that, you just watch his health melt away then. Another salvo coming in from him. No damage. I'm turning my nose into him, not doing exactly what he's doing, just being side on. I'm just inviting me to be sunk. I'm getting some fire coming over from the B point. I think it's a turpitch because I'm giving him a broadside. Obviously, I'm chasing this guy down. Another salvo on him. Another 6,000 damage. Could have been better. Need, need to be slightly higher, I think. And this guy's almost done. We've just picked up the Confederate. The amount of damage we've done to multiple ships. And this is the last cell we're coming in now. And yeah, he's done. So we finally got a kill on the board. It is our only kill of the game. So we've got a Rune of Turpits over in the middle. We've got a New Orleans, I believe. Somewhere over there. I'll take a quick pot shot at the turpits, but I don't think we're going to get any luck with that. It's going to hit the island. So this turpits looks like it's coming down one of the uh, avenues out of B. So he should come out in front of us. And to be honest with you, I don't really want to be in a knife fight with the turpits. He's got torpedoes. If he gets in close enough to me, um, I'm just going to end up getting sunk. Obviously, I've not got full health like he has. You see, there's somebody over there firing, so I've got a few shots over to see whether I can dislodge him. Or maybe get a lucky shot. Doesn't like we've hit anything. No. So, we're detected by aircraft, which is not the end of the world. Just no means the Turpits knows that we're waiting for him to come out of the New Orleans there. He's, he's pushing down with the Turpits. He's on low health. But this turpit, the last time I saw, was full health. And the New Orleans is down. So turpit's nearly full health. Yes, it was the rune who was hiding in C. So we'll get a couple of shots on this guy. Not great, but this is a point where I sort of bottled it. Really, I should have just slowed down and faced him. And instead, I've made a decision to turn around this island and use the island as cover. Obviously, I've got the Bismarck and the Izumo backing me. But I really didn't want to be taking torpedoes off this guy by sort of going nose on at him. And really, it was coming towards the end of the game, I probably should have just rammed him, but it would have been a bit unsporting. So I was kind of hoping he would survive a bit longer than he does and uh, come around the side of this island so I could get a finishing shot on him, but you can see his health is just melting away. Problem solved, sir. He's going to go down. I can't get a shot on the rune. He's over the other side of that island. There's obviously the turpits, his torpedoes. So he looks like he's beached himself or he's stuck. The Bismarck over the far side is going to finish him off. We'll have a little run into our Bismarck again from the second time this game. And that's the end of that one. But, with only one kill, still a good game. We uh, provided the service we needed to. Plenty of hits on target, 144,000 damage. And we made top of the team sheets. So I was pretty happy with that. So, as always guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know if you didn't, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.